Hey everyone, today I want to make a video about my setup. It's been quite a while since I've shown any updates, and I've had a few people ask me, what does your setup look like and what's new? So <laughs> I'd figure I'd make a video showing everybody what's going on and what's new. <laughs> so the first thing I want to talk about is my turntable stand. You know, as the name implies, I use it for my turntable and uh, my records here. But uh, mainly what I use this for regarding my setup is um, I have my cross point switcher going in here in my Sony receiver and I have it outputting in floor standing speakers and it sounds amazing. So the second thing is my floor standing speakers. <laughs> so um, they're Sony branded and um, specifically why I got these is because uh, they're magnetically shielded. So it's really good that you have a pair, if you're gonna have a pair of speakers next to a CRT, you have to make sure that they're magnetically shielded because if not, you're gonna have some issues with, you know, discoloration and eventually, you know, if you leave one close to a CRT for a while, it could become permanently damaged, you know? So, all right. And then here is the main piece of, uh, or the center piece of my setup. It's, uh, really tall wire rack <laughs> so i got this off amazon um the dimensions right here are 48 by 24 roughly uh 48 by 24 inches and um yeah it's held really well um every shelf apparently holds up to 500 pounds of weight so i figured you know the heaviest things here are going to be my crts so i figured if it can hold this it can hold everything else here. So uh, from the bottom left all the way top right, I'll, uh, I'll show you what's up. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the Neo Geo AES. Um, actually, this is one of my most recent additions. Um, I got it with the Uni BIOS installed. I got um, I got it with uh, a recap kit and um, the RGB bypass. So I have um, HD retrovision cables hooked up, you know, component cables, and it looks amazing. It's really, really nice. Second thing is uh, my analog NT with my Famicom disk system. So this isn't the Mini or the Noir or whatever, obviously, but um, this is the uh, second edition or the, the, um, the original second run. And... Um, yeah, this one outputs uh, analog uh, video only. So for those who don't know, uh, the original analog NT had the choice of outputting um, analog signals, you know, via DB15 or HD15, you know, VGA basically. And, um, or it could do HDMI, but unfortunately uh, it can't do both. So this one is specifically for um, analog video. And again, I have it, you know, going forward, all of this is like component video hooked up. Um, and those cables were made specifically for, um, for this. And then, uh, as I said, the Famicom disk system, I got it new in, um, yeah, it was new in box, but it had never been opened. Right, it was like in a storage warehouse for thirty something years, almost as old as I am, if I had to reveal my age. But, um, yeah, I opened it up and uh, the 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 rubber belt was completely melted. So I replaced it and I did a lens calibration and it works perfectly. My N sixty four over here has an N sixty four RGB board inside and it outputs component video not much else to, uh, to talk about it and the SNES even less there's no mods on it so <laughs> up here I have my PlayStation 1 Net Rose. I did a video on it recently um, really really nice I got it um, I got it half complete I didn't get the developer kit side of it I just got it in box with the controller and like you know all the inserts but really really nice console and of course, my Panasonic Q with uh, the Game Boy Player under it, uh, region free 
or at least plays um, US and Japanese games. And if you could see on the right uh, memory card slot, I also have the uh, official Nintendo GameCube SD card adapter, which is uh, apparently pretty rare to find, but I found one. And uh, I would say, hands down, this is like the holy grail of my console collection for sure. Uh, the Hitachi Hi Saturn Navi, um, it's been um, in a My Life in Gaming video. Um, I saw some French dude also like take parts of my video as well for his video or something like that on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's still holding up very well. Um, you know, it's it's great. I really love it. And then over here, of course, I have my Victor Wonder Mega. Um, yeah, uh, what's up with this? This one has, um, it has the RGB mod on it, and it also has uh, a region switch. So, um, I play US and Japanese, uh, Genesis Mega Drive games. Uh, but the CD portion's locked, unfortunately, unless you use, like, a Mega EverDrive to switch the, the BIOS. And, of course, how I also, how I see it all is my D24 and my 20L5. Uh, they're running like champs, no problems, thankfully. And uh, yeah, they're still still going on strong. Up here I have my OG Xbox uh, soft modded. So I can, you know, I, I'm the kind of person that really values like a physical collection. So what I really have up here is, um, I really just use it to play my Japanese import discs. Like I have one called Tug R. It's pretty cool. So um, yeah, that's really what I use it for. So up here, um, this right here is tentative and I'll explain. But um, before I get into that, I'll just show you what's up here. So the first thing is a PC Engine Duo RX. Um, this one actually is from, um, an eBay seller called Dujin Dance, and, uh, you know, some people have criticized his work in the past, and rightfully so, but I believe, um, you know, he's cleaned up his work, you know, he sh he's, uh, he's taken that criticism and turned it around, right, so, um, I mean, from what I'm seeing, it looks great, so, um, I'm satisfied. And down here I have a Sony PSX DSR 7000. So for those who don't know, this is a Sony PS2 that play that has DVR capabilities. It has a hard drive inside to save any sort of like recordings, like videos, um, anything that you you know broadcast into it. You know it has the coaxial uh, cable inside, like uh, the hookup in the back. And, um, yeah, you can record movies as well. Uh, unfortunately, this is region locked, and uh, I am in the process of uh, potentially getting uh, getting it modded, so um, I'll definitely be making a video about that. And down here, I have a JVC, let me read that for you, HMDH5U D Theater DVHS player. And I say both because there are certain DVHS players. Well, first and foremost, DVHS means digital VHS. <laughs> and then um, uh, D Theater is a very specific type of digital VHS tape that can only be played with D Theater uh, DVHS players. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but uh, long story short, uh, there are movies that are on tape, like literal cassette tapes that pl that display out in 1080i, and it looks amazing. Well, the reason this is all tentative right now is because, unfortunately, I believe uh, having my um, my PSX up here might be interfering with something while uh, tapes are playing back. So basically what's happening is... I'm getting a bit of a, a line tear up here when I watch tapes. Specifically, um, when I'm watching it in this like layout. So I think there's a problem. I mean, I have to do, I have to do more digging, but um, if worse comes to worse, I could just adjust this. But yeah, just wanted to show that. 
And uh, yeah, this huge box is my Extron switcher. Um, I mainly just use component video. I know some people are kind of cringing when I say that, but I'll be honest, I've said this before. Um, you know, for me, it's just what works. You know, everybody has their own setup. Everybody games their own way, and this is what works for me. So um, I have a few consoles and um devices that are component only so i mean if all if i can make it in one type of setup why not you know i just i i value simplicity when it comes to all this um up here uh i don't have this hooked up at the moment uh and i'll explain why but my rgb 203 rxi um you know it's a sync processor basically I would have used this to have my Dreamcast hooked up to it and then um, have it converted to, I don't know, RGBS to component, but uh, at the moment, uh, I don't have my Dreamcast here, so I'm, you know, it's just unhooked up at the moment. And then over here, I have my Corio TV1 C2 2200 video scaler. Basically, what this does is it's a downscaler, so I have it set up that way, and I use it to display HDMI content at 720 by 240p. So what that does is it still maintains a 720p resolution, but it displays um, 240p content on my D24, and it looks really, really good. As a matter of fact, it's probably... It has to be hands down my favorite scaler at the moment. You know, there's really nothing else that I've come across that really compares to it. And yes, I, I do want to make a video about it, but I just haven't had the chance to do so. And I will eventually. All right. Uh, second floor standing speaker matches the same one I had before. And then this is my main desk. So again, left to right. Over here, I have my BVM D9. Um, very little reliable, um, you know, BVM. Um, I use it, you know, as like a little desk monitor, you know, just to have like stuff if I want to play anything, like while I'm sitting down, like, you know, listening to something, I just, you know, double task or multitask and I play something here. Also to test stuff out because even though this has wheels, it's such a pain to get in the back and it's really heavy. So I don't want to be moving this a lot. So I would say this is definitely more of like a test BVM, if anything, or a test monitor. And of course, you know, what's my setup without, um, you know, the holy grail of CRT monitors for your PC, uh, my GDM FW 900. So um, I've had this for a few years. I jumped on the bandwagon before Digital Foundry made their video, and I'm going to talk about it when I make, you know, a new video about it. But uh, I currently have one right now on YouTube, and it's, uh, you know, I'll be honest, it's not the kind of quality that I was hoping to put out about this monitor. So um, I've heard the feedback, and I'm going to redo it. You know, um, I'm going to redo the video, and... You know, it's taken me a little bit longer than normal or than scheduled to push the video out, but I want to make sure that I'm giving the most content I can regarding this monitor. But yeah, it's it's working, and um, you know, I use it as my main monitor. And I, <laughs> if I even had to go further, I specifically got this desk and measured how tall this shelving unit is specifically so this monitor can fit for example this right here this this whole desk setup is from a company called bush uh business furniture uh they're sold on amazon and they're very very good quality um office equipment or desks or whatever um like, for example, the um, the wood right here, it's an inch thick. It's solid wood. It weighs a ton. And, um, yeah, I made specifically sure that it can handle this much weight. Apparently, it can hold up to 200 pounds. And this is like, uh, I forgot the exact weight, but it's, it's around 100, maybe a little less, maybe like 90. But still, I wanted something that can really hold this monitor. And, like, you know, this will do for sure. 
and uh, specifically uh, my PC right there. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I'll be honest, uh, my roommate um, handed me a few of the parts inside, but uh, what I do know what's inside is my video card. So it's a 980 Ti. And the reason I'm using that is because um, it's one of the last uh, video cards to have DVI output, um, or DVI-I specifically. And what I do is, without any converters, I just go from DVI to BNC, a DVI to BNC cable, and just hook it up in the back, and it's good to go. All right, and the last section of my setup is uh, my consumer grade TV, uh, the thirty, the KD thirty XS nine fifty five. Um, I found this uh, recently, like around me. It was a local pickup. And uh, it looks really nice, you know. Um, its maximum resolution or output is 1080i. Um, it does. Uh, it doesn't do 240p, but it does 480i, 480p, 720p, and 1080i. It'll upscale any 240p content to 480i, and uh, it's not the best for like uh, what I have over here. Like these consoles, they're made. I'd like them to like be played on these monitors, but I would say anything six gen and up. You know, like uh, I believe six gen is like PS two, original Xbox, and GameCube. They would all look really good here. Um, so um, again, the uh, the same type of office furniture, right? I have Bush business furniture for my stand as well. And I specifically made sure that this can handle this weight of the the weight of this uh, TV. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the uh, TV weighs about 148 pounds or 150 pounds. And again, I believe uh, from what I saw, this holds up to 200. So so far, no problems. It is a bit, you know, heavy to move, so I don't move it very often. But uh, yeah, so far so good. It's holding up really well. And right under here, um, in the similar fashion as I showed before, I have yet another wire rack. So here I just have, um, you know, what I would consider my HDMI uh, outputting consoles, right? I have my PS3 that's backwards compatible with PS2. I have my um, the Xbox One X. I have a hard drive next to it. And then right there on the bottom, uh, under my uh, Xbox One X, I have an Xtron HDMI switcher. And this one I got specifically because it's um, it actually extracts analog audio out. So when you hook up an HDMI um, cable into a, a switcher, normally it's just HDMI in, HDMI out, whatever. But this one actually um, grabs the audio and converts it to analog. And it's really like, it's something I was looking for, uh, for a while because, um, you know, I have like the BVMs that don't have like speakers on it. And I have my monitor that uses like external speakers, obviously. But, uh, for me, um, I use the two HDMI out, um, I'm sorry, I use the two analog audio outputs for right here, um, I have a little cable that plugs into my, um, my little speaker here. And then I have a long wire running all the way back here to my receiver. So if I want to put any HDMI content on, I can either output it here. Uh, wait, <laughs> let me start. I can output it here, of course, because this takes HDMI, actually. I can output it here, or I can output it here. So um, very, very versatile. You know, it's, it's, um, I wish I can have like an eight by eight, but unfortunately this one's four by four, but you know, the four by four works for me. I don't really have much, uh, more HDMI consoles. So, but yeah, very, very nifty tool. I really like it a lot. I'm glad I picked one up. And on the bottom here, I have a Wii U, you know, it doesn't get a lot of love, but I like it. And, um, you know, PS4 Pro. So yeah, that is my entire setup from left to right. And uh, yeah, again, it's a lot, you know, um, 
I really invested uh, a lot into this and uh, you know, it's it's really nice. You know, I'm, I'm glad I got to this point in my setup where I can officially say, you know what, I think that's it. I think I got everything that, you know, to me, I've been looking for. So, um, you know, last thing I'll say, like, it's taken quite a while for me to get all this, but, you know, if you're looking for stuff to get for your setup and whatever fits your needs or whatever, like, if you don't have it yet, keep looking. Like, you'll find it, you'll get it, and, you know, when you take a step back, like I can, you know, and say to yourself, wow, like, I finally got all got all of this yeah you can one day too so you know i i hope whoever's building up on that you know i hope you reach your goal one day because i can safely say i think i did <laughs> all right um hope everybody enjoyed the video and until next time